of any burrs or lipping from rail ends and check that they are square. To inhibit further lipping, form a 1 to 3 mm deep 45 degree chamfer around the rail head. Using a wire brush, clean all rail surfaces removing any rust or debris. A magnetic wand and aerosol air duster must be used to remove any remaining loose particles. Then use a degreasing agent to prevent loose metal particles sticking to the rail. All metal contaminants must be removed from the IRJ, the surrounding area and the ballast. Use a non-metallic straight edge to make sure that the rail ends are aligned and level. Apply Elmatherm FS190 varnish to the rail ends and fishing surfaces including the first base plate and clip on both sides of the joint and leave for approximately 20 minutes to dry. Insert the Tenconi Labyrinth end post. Fit the first plate, insulators and keeper plates. Insert the bolts through the insulated fish plate and the rail. Place the second plate over the bolts and secure washers and nuts. The correct sized bolts must be used as fitting of undersized bolts in cold weather could cause an IRJ failure in the warmer weather. Run up the nuts with an impact wrench or spanner. Tighten using a calibrated torque wrench in the correct sequence and to the required torque values. Visually check the alignment and fit of the components, then grind any excess plastic from the end post flush to the top of the railhead. Again, use a magnetic wand and aerosol air duster to remove any